Hey folks, this is IOE Thermal back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Star Eater in his STRV S1. So he's he's sent me two games over two weeks, so I figured we might as well feature him both times. Um And so yeah, he is platooned up with Darkest I'm gonna assume that's how you, you say that. In the uh What is going on? There we go. SU 130 p.m. Um, this is a tier 8 game on Laybugs. And, um, yeah. That's a beautiful little tank. Anyway, so he's running up towards the best spot in the game to sit and um, just, you know, shoot as a tank destroyer on Laybugs. This is a great push line. Um, I was going to say he already hit somebody, but he didn't, thankfully. So we didn't miss any action, guys. Um, there we go. First death. Um, so I'm going to record this one as red and green as far as, like, no um, no color blindness colors. So if you guys prefer this, just tell me in the comments. It looks super strange to me. I've always played the game with color blindness on uh, because I have a good friend who is color blind. I want everybody to be able to look at my videos, but um, I decided today we're going to try it without and just see how that goes. And so you guys tell me what you think of it, and we'll go from there. So he's taking shots and backing up. That's because of the fact that the enemies have pushed so far in. Our guys haven't really, I mean, they're now getting into the town to secure it. But before, when they were back here, I mean... Emmy could push all the way up to here and nobody would have cared. Also, apparently, we only have the, the two tanks on the railway, which is, I'm sure, what he's setting up for. Assuming that the 53 TP dies, which, considering the fact that it's the only tank going this way, yeah, that's a decent chance it gets dead. Then, oh, look at that. It's already getting hit. Taken apart by a Pergetto. And probably a little bit back up. Okay, well, with a dead 53 up there, the Centurion has decided it's going to be his job to sit up there and scout. And get shot, most likely. Um, our Progetto 46 has decided, nope, we're not doing that, and he's left. Um, the Centurion is trading shots with something. That's probably the other Progetto. Ooh, look. Hi. Since you're outside render or outside view range, go ahead and take a shot at him. Unfortunately, didn't hit. He is relocating a little bit. Um, he's just gonna try and defend this side. Unfortunately, though, with his centurion, without the 53, he's gonna be spotting for himself, which means he's gonna have to employ bush mechanics. It also means he has to hit the target. If you don't hit the target, it don't matter how many bush mechanics you buy. Ooh, that was a great blind shot. Took the guy's tracks off and everything, and probably the uh, the hawk behind us is the thing that actually spotted him again. Unfortunately, the hawk behind us died. So we gotta kill the Progetto before it realizes what's going on. Next time he pulls up. So. Oh. Ooh. No. Unfortunately, he didn't hit. I would have taken that same shot at the same time, by the way. Um, there we go. We light him. And then drop back. And then, you know, that's the, that's the problem with when you're just rolling forwards and backwards. Eventually, somebody just gets a beat on that. And you may think you're 100% in cover. But if you're not, and 90% of the world tanks, you're not 100% in cover. No matter how much you think you are. There's always going to be somebody who can just sneak a shell past, or may even be direct, you know, behind you in a spot that you thought was 100% protected. So just stop rocking back and forth in the same spot. It's a bad plan. It's a great way to get yourself killed for no good reason. Unfortunately, our ally goes down, and now it is just us from the platoon. We are the second last tank stir, thir sorry, third last tank stir on our team. Oh, the W's head's way over there. I didn't see him. Um, but we're the only defender of this position. So they gotta come through us. Oh, hi. 
I mean, if you're just gonna come driving up, then we're just gonna go ahead and shoot you from behind cover. So by rolling back, not only does it mean that the Sherman can't accidentally spot him, and that we get free shots on him, um, it, it also means that we don't have to worry so much. Unfortunately, it means that we can also lose track of him. Hello. Artillery goes ahead and takes him out for us. Thank you very much, Artillery. Because we were going to have a hard time sneaking that shot over the ridge line and into Escobola. Um, I don't think I would have taken that shot right then because of the fact that, um, you know, I, I still I think he should have rolled back, but he didn't, and it worked out okay. We didn't get lit. Um, but that's not something you, you should be assuming. Um, at the time when he took, when he actually rolled up to fire the shot, I don't think we knew where the hawk actually, or the H, <sighs> I can talk, I swear, the L-H-M-T-V was, <laughs> uh, L-H, I'm just going to call it an L-H phone, M or M-T-V, there we go, that, that I can remember. Don't don't ask me. I didn't I didn't watch it. It's not the point. Um, if the two of them had been back door, or if the MTB had um, snuck up a little bit farther and we hadn't spotted him yet, then we could have got ourselves lit, and that would have been bad. Uh, Progetto about to get itself lit up as it's pushed a little far forward and definitely into our gun line. Now he's gonna try and sneak around. But uh, with the WZ way up there and shells raining in from our tower, he's going to have a hard time. Now the problem with... Yeah, there we go. Uh, the enemy's problem really isn't that they're doing anything horribly wrong. The only problem they're having is that the fact that they're not doing it all together. And because they're not all together, we're just picking them off one at a time. If, if they push the entire flank all together... Um, yeah, we would have killed some of them. We probably would have killed two or three of them. But somebody would have got through. And really only would have taken one tank or two tanks getting through. And then artillery would have dro been dropping shells on our positions. Instead of us dropping shells on their positions. And that whole game probably would have died. That would have been a loss had the, the enemy pushed together. But they didn't. They dedicated four or five tanks to this flank. And they just pushed one at a time. And then we, we eliminated each tank as it pushed. And then just, you know, next tank, next tank kind of thing, right? As long as they let us keep doing that, we're going to win. Now, they still have numbers advantage, so that's an issue. But, you know, we can even that out. Now, the Pajetto is pushing, so we're going to push two. Um, yeah, the MTV does need to die, or this is going to be all for nothing, because if we get spotted doing this, then uh, Artie and the, the enemy tanks are just going to be lined up and waiting, and that's going to be a problem. But if we can't see the MTV, it's going to be hard to actually put a bullet in them. Right? So, for now, we're just going to push. Um, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, because we just want it to get there. And then once we get to where we're going, go ahead and pull the video back to normal speed so we can watch as he starts scanning. So he's looking for his counterparts. He's also looking for the light tank. Well, we found the light tank. The light tank bang at home is a problem. So, sorry, there isn't going to take any time. He just spins right around and is double timing it back. Artillery kills our artillery, and the RHM is trying desperately to get a shot in um, on the light tank. Um, Sarrier is pleading with our RHM, kill him, kill him, kill him, get that light tank dead. Um, ooh, light tank peeled off, way off. Looks like the entire enemy team finally figured out they all need to move together, and by doing so, they've pinned our RHM in the back of our base. Nope. Dead RHM. Looking at, under these tracks here, he's hoping to get a beat on somebody. Looks like he's not gonna. He's gonna have to push around. Knowing that it's only their artillery back there. 
Um, we we're just going to leave him alone. The Prochetto's coming with us. And that is a scorpion. Must have got spotted by now. Nope. Maybe not. I am assuming we have six cents. But maybe I'm wrong. Of course, nobody's looking at us, so it's possible that we actually, in fact, have not been spotted. And that uh, scorpion has, like, a dead commander or something. Because, uh, man, <laughs> what are the odds? We're not, it's not like we're running a uh, camel net. Though, I would like to know if Star Eater has a camo crew in this tank. Um, so if the crew has camo, then maybe... Um, maybe that's why we're not getting right up. Oh, there's the light tank. He's trying to get behind us. Nope. Spinning fast is not necessarily one of the things this thing does well. I thought for a second the Pajero was upside down. Um, <laughs> but it can still do it. Reversing down the hill. He's just going to do a little turn and he's going to come up on the other side. Uh, he's asking their Progetto to go kill the artillery. I don't know if the art if the Progetto is going to listen or not. If he does, that would be great. If he doesn't, it's also okay as far as, as this goes. Um, if he doesn't go kill the artillery, then he's going to be around to defend us against the enemies if they both push at the same time. He must have spotted that. Because we definitely didn't. So that means he has eyes. It looks like he's not going to go and push. Or not going to go spot artillery. He's in fact going to be peeking and poking up around these ridge lines. He's looking for a shot on either the RHM or the SU. And that there is the artillery. So in fact we do get to take out the artillery. Good combined effort from Star Eater and the Progetto. Um, okay. And now pushing around this close side, he's going to look to engage the RHM and the SU-101 from a little closer up. Um, this thing isn't well known for its close combat prowess, and it's really not. But the fact is that we have to get line, uh, lines of fire on them, and if they're on the back side of that hill, then closer is the only way to do it. Okay, just don't knock the tree over. As I, uh, I thought he was going to go all the way around, but he's, he's not. He's just getting up on high, which is also a good idea. Or, no, no, wait. Somebody spotted movement. Can we get the gun down in time? Looks like yes. And we get one shell in. RHM might be looking this way, but because of the fact that there's a bush in the way. Ooh, as the shell just like skims past the top of our tank. Ooh. Um, depending on what gun the air chain has and what ammo he was loading, that could have hurt. Um, but it looks like maybe. I mean, we can't go cap. So he was either just running down here. He was trying to get the Progetto to go in cap. Ah. And the Progetto wants to be involved in the killing. So Star Eater is like, okay, you don't want to win the guaranteed way? Fine, let's do dumb. And now they're going to be it, go about this the dumb way. Nope, we got spotted. Ducked down behind the hill before a round comes out of nowhere. Oh, there's the SU behind the Progetto. Thankfully, because of the fact that we have live bait, we are okay, and the Progetto is still alive. Progetto still being live bait goes ahead and sets us up to kill the... <laughs> uh, our gym is dead. Wow, that was a close game. 30 seconds left in the game when they finally managed to take out the last one. I barely noticed the fact that that game was so long. I mean... It's been 14 minutes of me talking, but I didn't even notice because that was so intense and such, like, just back and forth and everywhere. I loved it. Thank you so much, Daria, for t saying this in. I can't wait to see your next game because this was awesome.
Okay, uh, let's jump over and see his battle results. Master Badge, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Seven Bonds, a Bradley Walters, Ooh, High Caliber, and Top Gun. These things are a lot rarer than it feels like it, they ought to be. I, I get a lot of games with seven kills, but very few with eight. Um, just well done to acquire one. Well, 6,000 damage dealt. 1,600 base experience. Holy smokes, if this had been a 10 times day or a, even a 3 times day, you would have been rolling in experience as it was not quite, but still completely worth it. Thank you so much, Staria, for saying this in. Look at the money he made on this. <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> Good job. Thank you so much for sending this in. Thank you all for watching. Um, you guys want to see me stream live every every day? Um, it's a different time. Like, so to, uh, Thursdays. Uh, wow. I can talk, I swear. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, 9 p.m. Live on Twitch. No face cam, unfortunately. And Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, I'll be streaming live on Twitch as well. 7.30 a.m with webcam um so yeah come out and join me um saturday i don't know saturday is gonna be an up in the air kind of thing uh it will depend on my wife so come join the discord if you want more information about my streaming or more information about videos or if you want to send in a video of your own a replay then i'd love to have it um and yeah Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE throughout.